If a car arrives in a trailer, then the value is usually very high. The original is already rare and expensive, but this model is a reconstruction and is unique. This is a 1937 BMW 328, no longer in original condition, as you can see. It was rebuilt in 1938 by its owner at that time, and the baby is now here. The former owner rebuilt the car for the racetrack, and while that is more than 70 years ago, age doesn't affect this car. The open two-seater from BMW is 3 meters 90 long, and instead of the standard 80 horsepower, the conversion delivers 90 horsepower on the test bench. And at 680 kilos, it weighs a whopping 140 kilos less than the series production 328. Walter Schluter was a mine timber merchant from Essen who ordered this car and two other BMW 328s in 1937. Privately, he had a hobby, and that was racing. And as BMW also had their own work teams, and he was the only large privateer, the supply of spare parts was limited. So he then built his own racing team. The BMW 328 offers a good basis for conversions, and the businessmen from the Ruhr area in Germany utilize this fact. It was not his style to present his passion in the open. For participation in the race, he turned his name around and started as Walter Rittelsch. Walter Schlüter had a mechanic, and that was Tony Verschnitz. And he told him, in order to stay competitive and also compete against the factory teams from BMW, I need a better car. Tune that up for me. Tony Verschnitz also had some ideas, and he took the entire technology out of the engine, set the gears 12 centimeters lower in the frame so that he had a lower center of gravity and was able to drive through the corners faster. He gave it a completely new aluminum outer skin, which was a little more streamlined to regulate wind resistance and covered the subfloor as well. But also, the BMW 328 production model doesn't need to hide from competitors. It is still regarded as a dream sports car. Planned back in the early 30s of the last century, it came off the production line for the first time in 1937. Overall, the Bavarian Engine Works only built 464 cars of this type. The open two-seater is ahead of its time. The four-wheel hydraulic foot brake, one of the hydraulic brakes developed by BMW, replaced the then standard cable brake. The new type of delay, an advantage not only for the racetrack. Other things are important with the design of the car for the hobby race of Alta Schlüter. It should have less output to become lighter, so the mechanics replace the whole body with light metal. The frame is made of aluminium. The streamlined shape is good for the aerodynamics, and now the car reaches a top speed of 160 kilometers an hour. Everyday usage looks different. Tony Verschitz had the racetracks of Europe in mind with the construction of the car.
the big steering wheel dominates the interior. In the original, there is no speedometer on the dashboard. And gadgets for the racetrack, hand throttle, choke, and a start button. The car exudes speed, and one wins races with a car like this. The concept and implementation match. Walter Schlüter had a different problem. Walter Schlüter only had one problem. That was the tires. And he could only get tires from the manufacturer. And because he was so fast with his car, and he wanted to have the tires, he found himself in a predicament and mostly slowed down before the finish. He had to let the factory drivers go past, otherwise BMW would have said, you get no more tires. And that would have been it for the driving. Uh, after the war, Walter Schlüter sold his BMW to a British mechanic. It stayed in England until 1999. Then it got a bit forgotten. In the middle of the 60s, they found it in a state of disrepair in a barn. And then the world rumored that this was one of the lost Mille Miglia roadsters, which was then cleared up pretty quickly. The legendary Mille Miglia car, 1939. Hitler prepares Germany for an attack on Poland and BMW builds the 328 in a record hunter, which has no equal. The Touring and the Cam Coupe, two close 328s. Thanks to lightweight construction and strong torque engines, they dominate the two-liter class at this time. The people from Bayern drive victories in Le Mans and Emile Emilia in 1939 and 40. The 328 became the favorite car of the avid male sports driver. But for the amateur pilot, Walter Schlüter, other things were more important. This is completely aluminum. Compared to a normal 328 standard series, the car weighs 140 kilos less. So now we're talking about a total weight of 680 kilos. The direct comparison between reconstruction and original shows the Schlüter version has a high power to weight ratio due to the more powerful engine and the weight savings. In 1939, Walter Schlüter starts in his converted 328 at the Grossglockner Grand Prix, the Eiffel Race at the Nürburgring and the Hamburg Stadtpark Rennen. After the war, he's rarely seen at the start until he eventually sold the unique piece to an Englishman in the 50s. The Schlüter BMW 328, a unique race car from the 30s, is one of the first tuning objects from German race car history.